Hello drama students and welcome to an online video on how you might approach the portfolio of supporting evidence for unit one. It sounds really exciting doesn't it that we're going to be creating a device piece and we get to be assessed on that for our GCSE drama. But what's really important is to know that you get marks for how you got to that point of putting that on stage. So you get marks for the creation process and how you documented that. So today we're going to talk about what that looks like and what is involved. We're going to be looking at how to record evidence of the research creation and development of ideas during the process of devising. So the specification overview for Unit 1. Well, for Unit 1, it's internally assessed and externally moderated by WJAC, which means that your drama teacher will assess you and it will send off the, um, the videotape of your performance, and this will be moderated by WJC. The work submitted uh, to WJC by the end of March in Year 11, and the centre can choose the date for the assessment, so we get to choose when that will happen. So learners, you will create, develop and perform a piece of theatre using the techniques of theatre practitioners, characteristics of genre of their own choice and use a stimulus supplied by WJC from a choice of four. Your groups should consist of between two to five acting candidates with up to four additional design candidates, each working on a different design skill. The performance should be between five and 16 minutes, depending on the number of performance. If you're uh, performing in the year 2021, then because of special uh, circumstances, you guys will be doing a monologue. So that doesn't really apply to you. It'd be a monologue piece, but it will still be devised and it will still be informed by a practitioner. Learners must realize their performance. Design centers must record the work, produce a portfolio of supporting evidence, which we're looking at today, and evaluate their performance. So as an additional piece of evaluation that you'll be doing uh, once the performance is finished. So unit one, the assessment, well, it's actually worth 20%, that's 30 marks. AO1, create and develop ideas to communicate meaning for performance. This is assessed through the performance and portfolio of supporting evidence. So it's, it's a dual assess there. So not just the portfolio that you create, not just the performance that you act in, it's actually uh, the marks, that, uh, you get them from both sides. There are separate assessment grids for performing and design and learners are assessed on ideas created in response to stimulus, use of practitioner genre techniques, their individual contribution to the process, development of character, mood and atmosphere, selection of performance and design, conventions and techniques and use of space and design cues. So lots to think about there, but don't worry, we'll take you through every step of the way. So if you're performing in the year 2021 and you're in year 11, you're going to be choosing a practitioner applying it to your monologue, not to a device piece with more than one person. You're going to clearly choose one practitioner or genre. And we've chosen Bertolt Brecht. We've done a great deal of research around uh, this practitioner already. And you will then have to choose four to six techniques that reflect your understanding of the style and enhance the piece. You will in, perhaps include an episodic structure if your practitioner is bragged. And it just can't be random add-ons, applications that seem to not fit. It has to be well thought through. You can't just randomly list and insert different techniques because you think that would tick the box. So, your supporting evidence, what could it include? Well, the beauty of this portfolio is that it can be completely designed by you in all different guises. So it can include photographs of your work, of you rehearsing, performing. It could have sections of your script or your monologue. I would suggest mind maps. I'm a big advocate of mind maps. Questionnaires where you ask um, people to look at your work and give you some feedback and you use that feedback to enhance and develop your uh, performance. You might have visual images of the stimuli of, of different things that have inspired you. You might have ground plans, newspaper articles that really mean something. 
You might have PowerPoint presentations that you include, sketches, written prose, song lyrics, and video clips. So as you can see, there is a great deal of scope for things that you can do. But what you are evidencing is your creative process and how you have developed and got to the point where you are ready to perform. So you might be asking, oh, that sounds great, but what is that portfolio all about? Well, essentially, what this portfolio is, is an evidence base to demonstrate the research, creation, and development of ideas during the process of devising the scene. Notice there is a stage there, the research stage where you're researching, you've got many, many different ideas and you're, you're just putting it all down on paper. Um, then you're creating, you're devising, and you're, you're thinking about what could be uh, perfect for your scene. And then you're developing ideas, getting feedback from people, trying things, um, homing your ideas down. And this is all a process that we go through to create theatre. You should keep a record of supporting evidence compiled during this process. But remember, it's not a diary entry, so it shouldn't just be a series of notes of diary entries. It should have a focus on these three stages, the moments where practical work has changed and developed in a significant way. Was there something that really inspired you, a piece of feedback that moved you in a certain direction? So, number one. Ideas need to be research created and developed in response to the chosen stimuli. Number two, ideas from chosen practitioner have been incorporated into the piece of uh, theatre to communicate meaning. And number three, ideas have been developed, amended and refined during the development of the piece. Again, this is not a diary entry. There are many ways you can present this portfolio of the process that you went through to create your piece of theatre. Some of the ideas could be that you create a written commentary. So this would be more like paragraphs in an essay uh, where you put all of your ideas together. You could use a blog. Um, some people have chosen to go on the internet and create their own blogs uh, documenting their process. Or you, perhaps you would like to not use a written word at all and actually go for an audio commentary or an audio visual. So you make your own video or you make your own podcast of your, your process. Remember, if you're going to do that, it needs to be between six to nine minutes in total. And one mark will be deducted for each complete 100 words or one minute less or more than the required minimum or maximum time. So they're very strict on being very precise with how you communicate your process to the examiner. Here is an example of how a student used a mind map to provide supporting evidence. Let's have a read. Our chosen practitioner was Birkhoff, and our chosen stimulus was the persistence of memory by Salvador Dali. This stimuli, in our opinion, gave us more freedom to be creative and would offer more options and possibilities as far as the themes were concerned. In order to develop our scene, we researched the painting thoroughly and decided that the main theme was time, from the melting to the decay implied by the swarming ants. These ants are seen seemingly attacking the orange clock, positioned on the rectangular table-like object. Some suggest that this perhaps indicates the anxiety associated with time. And what are the origins of anxieties associated with time? Is it being too late for work or is it not having complicated accomplished something before we die? We started developing our scene by experimenting with the words and actions associated with time and linking it with our chosen style. The obvious sound was the ticking of a clock in accordance to Burkhoff's techniques. We as a group used our voices and bodies to convey this. We also experimented with our bodies to convey different kinds of anxieties. And repeated words that conveyed these anxieties. From his initial experiments, we could see how our scene could be developed further to deal, to, to, to deal with our anxieties associated with time and how it would link effectively with our chosen style. So, as you can see, what they've done there is created a mind map and then created a narrative paragraph that communicates what they explored. Another fantastic way to evidence development of your piece is to ask somebody to come in to watch your performance and give you some feedback. 
this is an example of an audience evaluation questionnaire. Let's look at some of the titles that they asked in their questionnaire. Well, they put members of the group, title of the piece, description of the story or narrative as you understood it. That's really interesting, isn't it? As you understood it. And I think that's a really good question because actually it gets the audience member to write down what they think happened. And that gives you some feedback of whether you were successful in what you were communicating. Description of the roles and the characters and the comments that they provided. So let's have a read about what they said about this idea. A significant moment in the development of our scene when we invited some of our fellow students to watch one of our performances. We have prepared a questionnaire which asked them to fill in after the performance the suggestions of how to develop our scene further. One example of the completed questionnaire is seen below and to the side. We also had a discussion with them after the performance. Since our piece was Artodian, we wanted to know what impact it had on our audience. The theme of our piece was immigration, and we wanted to convey the plight of thousands of immigrants looking for a safer place to live. Our aim was to shock our audience and make them feel uncomfortable. We, were, we had arranged our stage in the round, which meant the audience were in close proximity. I could see that some of the members of the audience were looking uncomfortable, and I heard a few gasps during the performance. On asking some of the audience members of their response, we found out they had been shocked and some did feel uncomfortable. However, they did not feel the theme had been developed fully and that we had con concentrated more on the style. We needed to show the plight of the immigrants in more detail. The whole scene was too episodic for it to be effective and as a group we needed to structure scenes more effectively. This made us look at the whole scene again and decided on deleting certain parts and add new ones. The thing to remember here is that actually this, this feedback was so beneficial. And at first glance, you might even be offended by some of the feedback you got. But actually, the fact that you asked that feedback and then you were able to develop and make it even better, that's where the marks are going to be. Another way could be ground plans, couldn't it? So by ground plans, we mean drawings of where the stage will be and what will be on the stage. So let's have a look at what they said. Below, there are two ground plans. One of them our initial plan and the other we designed after we developed the scene better for stage. There is an obvious difference between both, with the second one being much better overall. We worked with the initial ground plan for a few weeks and then suddenly, as the scene evolved, it became something quite different to how it started out. The practitioner we had chosen was Brecht and the theme was shadows. By Brecht, we wanted to convey a political message. We decided that since politics and politicians were always in the news, we wanted to convey the message that politicians have secrets and hide numerous things from the public in the shadows. We wanted to create the piece of theatre with episodic scenes and direct address to the audience. As we developed the scene in the Brechtian style, we realised that the origin ground plan was too rigid and too traditional for this kind of style, and that having a real furniture on stage was unnecessary and hindered our movements. They did not really fit into the scene as it had been developed. We needed more freedom on stage and used different levels. We did away with the furniture and used stage blocks instead. These could be used for sitting or standing upon. The screen was originally it had been off-centre, become the focus and play styles placed centre stage. This would be useful for PowerPoint. The interests in the original ground plan were far too forward and we moved from further upstage. We also included a ladder upstage right, which again would give us different levels. This could be used by characters to address the audience. So again, can you see point A, this is what we started with, point B, this is what we ended with, and this is why we did it, and this is why it's so much better. So the examiner provides some thoughts for us to think about, and time after time we get the same feedback for schools across the nation. They often say, we often see a lack of structure where the pieces are too long, short, lacking in contrast between the scenes. Plot a graph, think about the model of action, rising action, climax, falling action. Ask yourself of the following questions. What's the mood like in this scene? How different it is to the other scenes? What's the pace like? So again, 
What's this portfolio supposed to look like? So it can be presented in a variety of ways. A written commentary, a blog, audio commentary, audio visual. Perhaps you're going to create your own film. But remember, it's very, very important to stick to the amount of words and the amount of minutes that they provide. So let's get into the examiner's heads. Band five is where we really want to aim for, which is the top band. This is A01, and we're assessing here your portfolio and your performance. The evaluation comes after this, and there's marks for that as well, but we're focusing specifically on this. Creating and developing ideas and communicating the meanings between 13 and 15 marks. So we want highly imaginative ideas created in response to the chosen stimulus are fully developed, notice that, fully developed, and refined. So if you make no changes, you document nothing like that, you won't get that. Within a well-structured piece, displaying a clear dramatic shape, an excellent range of techniques, characteristics associated with the practitioner genre are used creatively in the development of this piece. A highly relevant individual contribution to the creation and development of a piece of theatre. Second column, communicating meaning. The chosen role character is fully developed in order to communicate meaning in a highly effective way. Highly relevant performance conventions are chosen to communicate meaning in a highly effective way. The performance space is used imaginatively to communicate meaning in a highly effective way. I wonder how many words can you see repeated there? They should stand out to you. Let's have a look at a band five completed portfolio. I wonder whether you can recognize and see why it's achieved band five. Having spent a lot of time discussing the set stimulus, today we have agreed to focus on the lines, although the news was rather sad. The song deals with many messages, but we have decided to focus on the idea in the song of the juxtaposition of one man, one minute shooting himself and the next getting out of bed. We feel that this aspect of the stimulus gives us an opportunity to include a number of ideas within one play and create an episodic storytelling plot. Our main focus will be horrific and moving real life historical incidents. I've decided to research world history as the next step. I need to focus on how I can use these ideas such as the suffragettes and the struggle with the vote through suffering such as hunger strikes. I feel this will provide us with some strong dramatic possibilities. By understanding the suffering, motivations and passions of real people during specific historical moments, we will be able to write and create more memorable characters and plot. As we want to focus on the episodic style, we feel that a minimalistic approach to staging will support our dramatic ideas. Again, this links in well with our idea to focus on Brecht. This will allow us to use multiple locations and fulfill our aim to create a multi-location, multi-focused play. In our discussion today, we have also focused on the idea of breaking the fourth wall in order to use direct address. This is, this is for a number of reasons. Number one, to draw attention to specific messages. Number two, to utilize the Verfram Duns effect. Number three, to allow our characters a specific voice. And last box there. Brecht has also been agreed upon today. We feel that this style and techniques will allow us to create a piece with a strong message and political slant. I feel that a Brechtian style will help us shape an episodic piece of theatre and because we want to tell a story his ideas land themselves perfectly. We are interested in looking further into the idea of the Brechtian techniques Lehrstruck, meaning teaching play. image of the character goes straight in the middle and let's see what they regarded about characters. I focused on my character and tried to understand what he may be feeling and the intense training he may have been through. I have found this difficult as it happened such a long time ago and I'm struggling with ideas on how to portray him. I've watched an hour long video today on the atomic bomb fight yet under the skin of the thoughts and feelings of my character. I've understood how patriotism was felt by these soldiers. These young soldiers were almost brainwashed to believe that they were do what they were doing, bombing Hiroshima. 
was my was the right thing to do. This has helped me with my motivation, which now needs to be put into motion through my acting skills. Following from this research, I have focused on the use of voice. I feel this work with such detailed skill focus has really helped me to turn a corner with my characterization and representation of my role in production. I have decided today that my tone of voice will be very patriotic in the fight scene. I want to use a strong, powerful voice, which has the underlying tone of naivety in order to emphasize the irony behind the scene. The other idea that I'm playing with is the idea of breaking the fourth wall in this scene. In rehearsals we've decided that the scene is too emotional and we need to get back to Brechtian techniques in order to ensure that our audience is distanced from the reality of the situation. I experimented with speaking the stage directions but this just felt contrived and although it broke the intensity of the scene it really did not feel comfortable. However, when I broke the fourth wall and addressed the imaginary audience, I felt that there was a connection which was effective. This is still in development, but it's a monologue which gave me an opportunity to explore more Brechtian techniques and challenge myself as an actor. So can you see, it details the journey of that actor as they, they watched the film, they thought about it, they expanded their understanding, but they didn't just go straight to performing even watched a whole film that gave them an understanding, a motivation. So on the last slide of this portfolio, they're going to talk about the rehearsal process and they include a picture of the rehearsal process. So our focus today has been the drunk scene. This scene is very different from the others and we have been working on polishing the piece for performance. From my research, I've understood that alcoholics tend to be ignorant themselves not knowing when they are wrong. I have focused my movement and particularly my use of the acting area and physicality. I have decided to make a grand entrance through the central back door. I have worked on a stumbling through the door. I have decided that a glass of alcoholic drink will be my help my ability to communicate the drink the drinker to the audience so I have added a prop glass and scotch. My use of the movement will focus on my overuse of gesture pointing energetically in an uncoordinated way to my co-actor Dan. This I feel immediately to the audience that I'm drunk. This clear use of gestures again links with our practitioner Brett and is a skill that I need to master. I also feel that my facial expressions should be exaggerated in order to show my lack of control of my emotions. In addition to this, we are focused on our use of acting space, again in order to show that I am drunk and I've decided to use as much space as possible. I used to be very unsteady on my feet and appear to be walking in toffee. As I am drunk with Dan is sober, we have worked on our interaction, decided that I'll be, I will be continually walking towards him, evading his personal space and following him around in an aggressive and demanding way. I have experimented with tempo of movement and feel the most effective way to communicate my motivation and character's emotion state is to be unpredictable as possible. However, in order to keep in line with our practitioner, we have decided that Dan will break the fourth wall and I will freeze for key moments in order to alienate the audience from the reality of the scene. So that's it. We've covered different elements of portfolio. We've covered what they should look like and the vast different options that you have in, in creating this portfolio and really communicating the process that you went on to create your perfect piece of theatre. Now, I would save this video and revisit it once you've completed your portfolio as well. Hopefully it's going to give you some ideas and feel free to contact your teacher to give some more advice on how to create this. Make sure you make notes as you go through the process of creating your piece of theatre. Don't forget anything, any discussions that you guys have, write them down. Remember, you must keep your ideas in line with your practitioner. This is really important. So good luck and happy devising.